Evening guys, another nightly video for me. Just wanted to do a little quick um, update. You know, I haven't been on here for a little bit, you know, and I kind of got burnt out a little bit and wanted to take a break. So that's what I did. Um, that being said, I have been working on the Burke Myers Modified by Salvinos. Um, just a couple things on this. This is not a kit um, for a beginner builder in any way, shape or form. This is a kit that needs to have somebody with experience building it. You, you've got to definitely think ahead on your, on, on your, uh, instructions. You've got to look through them. You've got to understand them. There are some mistakes in them. Um, so you just gotta, I mean, just to give you an example, there is not a lot of room in here. I mean, you see, there is just not a lot of room. So a lot of people have complained about not being able to get this engine to fit properly. I didn't have a problem. I got lucky, I guess. A lot of twists and turns in there. But um, when I did finally get it in here, there was a positive click. And I knew it was set. Um, and I didn't even glue it. It's set in there. You didn't have to glue it. Everything on here is tight tolerances. So if you have, um, for instance, your panel hangers that are on the side here, these little holes. Um, here's, some, here's my panel. I'm getting ready for the black. But on the inside, you've got these little markers, these little <clears throat> locator pins. And you have to drill them out. You have to drill out these little receivers that are on here. You have to drill those out because if you don't, um, it won't fit. And then you also have to and like trim these um, these locator pins down a little bit so that the panel sits right. So there's just a lot of thinking and um, a lot of a lot of thinking ahead. Um, the seat was difficult. There's not a lot of room in in the cockpit in any way, shape, or form. So you've got to be thorough. Um, with, and you got to take your time and you got to have your patient panties on. Uh, <clears throat> so that being said, um, I wanted to do a call out today, a guy who it, it kind of befuddles me. He only has like, a, I think he just went across a thousand viewers um, I'm getting into the motorbikes here lately, and I've been watching some of the some of the uh, you know uh, the non-domestic guys, the guys overseas. And there's there's one builder out there. He only has like one thousand one thousand subscribers, but he he gets like fifty thousand views on his on his channel on his on his videos. And I just thought I'd give him a call out um, and let people know he he does awesome work and. Um, like to see him get his subs up you know he, he he certainly deserves more subs the name of the channel is scale model experience um i think he's out of romania does a great job it's the asmr type of build where he doesn't say anything but his builds are just phenomenal um and he does really good good work so give it a view uh give him a sub give him a thumbs up <clears throat> good comment on one of his videos uh, I'm sure he'll appreciate it. Um, the third thing I want to talk about today is Mr. Sodak Models posed a question for a, for our community. And he asked, um, what's your style? What's your modeling style? Now, I think most of the people who have a YouTube channel is pretty easy to figure out, but it doesn't hurt to just talk about it a little bit. So... My style, you'll see three builds back there, and they encompass my style. I like factory. I like factory paint. I like factory colors. It doesn't matter what I'm building. I like factory. So, for instance, this is a factory color. This is, this is the dirt burnt orange. Um, this is the 1970 Roadrunner that I did for the... Uh, Oh, United Scale Auto Content Creator USAC uh, build that I did. What you'll notice is everything looks factory, but it 
has a small twist. For instance, it doesn't have the black stripe here. I like to show a little bit of artistic creativity on some of my builds, just a little bit. And a lot of times these builds, these, these colors, I want them to stand out. And I'm not a fan of, <clears throat> personally, I'm not a fan of stripes. It's all about what you like. So nothing wrong with them. Um, there are some cars I see them and they just look awesome. But I'm not, I want the color to stand out. So I don't put stripes on them. Um, but I do like the factory paint. Now, this one here, uh, these are the last three builds I did on my channel, pretty much. This one here is the Nova I did with a Pro Street. Even though it's Pro Street, it, it's painted frost green metallic, which was a 69 Nova color. And I just love the way that looks with those wheels. I just fell in love with that color when I saw it. Um, and then this is the last build. This is the Oldsmobile 71 Oldsmobile 442. And what will you notice about it? No stripes. I am just not a fan of stripes. I just, for me, it just doesn't work. The purists will get upset, but I love the color to stand out. I just love the paint. Um, and this one here is, uh, factory Viking blue from Splash. And the other part of the question is, what tools do you use or what what do you use to um, get the results that you get? And I, when you put your car, if you're, if you're into competition, which I'm not, I'll compete twice a year, but I'm not into the competition as much as you would think. I'm, I'm into what, what makes me happy. And it's about being satisfied and, and I have an anal retentive side to me. Um, and I, they have to be as perfect as I can get them. I just want everybody to understand that when you go to see a show, a lot of us think, Oh, it's just, my bills aren't worthy of a show. Yes, they are. When you go to a show, not one of those bills that is sitting on those tables is perfect. Not one of them. You will see a flaw in them. If you look hard enough, that's the nature of building models. It's part of the human touch. It's part of us. We are human and we make mistakes. That's the way it is. So <clears throat> I um, I think a model with a, with a beautiful paint job gets my attention. Um, and if it's matched accordingly, like this one's got the wheels and it's got the white interior and it, it to me, that looks cool. It stands out. So, um, <clears throat> the tools I use, I have two airbrushes that I use predominantly the, the, uh, the, what I use on the bodies. And when you're using splash paints, by the way, splash paints is kind of a hot paint. And these paints require a very fine mist coat. You, it's, um, it's just a very light coat that you would put on. I mean, it's just very light and you keep going at it until you get the color that you want and you get the blend that you want. Um, it just takes patience. So for instance, this car here took me about an hour and a half to paint. I would paint a coat of it and then I'd come, I'd let it sit for 10 to 15 minutes and then I'd come back at it and I'd paint another coat, but super light coats. So I think there's just like nine coats on here, but Super light coats. Um, and I use two airbrushes that get me these types of coats. And that's the one I use for the bodies is the Infinity, the Harder and Steamback Infinity. It's got a 0.2 needle in it. I run that at about um, 18 PSI and it works really good. Um, and the other one is if I'm using enamels, which this one is an enamel, uh, that's an MCW paint. Um, if I'm using enamel, I'll use the 0.3, the, uh, Awada Eclipse. Those are the two airbrushes that I use that, um, give me the results that I need. And, um, there's a craving in me to do other things. So I'm <clears throat> thinking I'm going to have to get into the motorbikes because I just think they look cool. I've never been a motorbike rider, but, um, that paint 
and those numbers, I'm, I'm really into race cars too, and it, um, they just stand out. So that's it for me. A 10 minute video is a long video for me. So I apologize for the length of the video. Thanks for hanging with me. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. It's all free. Give me a comment. Let me know what you think. Everybody have a good night. This is Terry. I'm out.